Oh, Thanos, why are you doing this, bro? Come on, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What up, y'all? This is your boy, Shaver Speaks, man. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit the like and subscribe buttons of my boys, Miller Boy Gaming and Heems Gaming. They do gaming and live streaming. You may even catch a boy up on there He's kicking some ads alongside them. All right. There's a brand, another, and hopefully the final uh, TV spot featuring Thanos talking to remaining heroes with more with less than a week to go. Marvel Studios' much anticipated blockbuster will hit theaters, and the Infinity Saga will finally come to a close. I know I'm a little sad myself. A direct sequel to last year's Infinity War, Avengers Infinity War, the film is directed by Joe and Anthony Russo, with a story written by Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely. So with Infinity War, we saw Thanos, you know, accomplish his lifelong goal of balancing the universe by wiping out half of his life, enacting the decimation with the use of the Infinity Gauntlet and complete with all six made stones to spite a giant a gallant effort by the MCU heroes to stop him. His success, however, didn't come without any losses. Um, as he needed to sacrifice his beloved adopted daughter Gamora in order to acquire the Soul Stone, which makes me wonder who are the Avengers going to sacrifice in order to obtain the Soul Stone, or are they, they going to find a way around that? So, by the end of the Infinity War, you know, as we all know, the Mad Titan moles on his journey and he retires on a new planet called Titan 2. And marketing for Endgame confirms that he is still there, living a peaceful life. As we saw in the trailer, we saw him with his armor hung up like a damn scarecrow. And uh, as we all know, his quiet life as a farmer will actually get soon in, in disrupted when the remaining Avengers come to whoop his ass and avenge, his, and, and avenge their fallen homies. And it's teased but by latest promo clip. And by Marvel Wave, and I'll be showing, and I'll be watching that pretty soon. Hold on just a second. Now, after just watching it, it looks pretty damn dope. It's only 10 days to go, but uh, well, now six. But anyway, you know, we hear Thanos in the clip say, Let's finish this. So, with that being said, he's in pretty absent in the in game marketing, particularly in, his, in the earlier releases. But in the posters, he's only a figure at the back with the focus on the heroes, especially the core six Avengers. So this goes with the idea that the Avengers 4 will be from the perspective of the heroes, unlike Infinity War, which was primarily told from the Mad Titan's point of view. Narrative-wise, it also means that the, that the Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, and the rest of the team will take it upon themselves to go after the Mad Titan, as revealed in the earlier spots. So whether or not that original plan will do the trick of restoring peace and order in the galaxy remains to be seen, considering the fact that considering the fact that Thanos has a new has new armor. And weapon in the upcoming film, two a two bladed sword and some mad ass armor. You might actually be expecting the Avengers coming after him following the decimation. I mean, it'd be pretty smart, and it would just play on to the the knack that he is a futurist, just like Tony is. So with that, so what's currently known about Spider Man Far From Home, though, is it's safe to, to assume that the Arch Mightiest Heroes accomplished their goal of restoring the universe and status quo. How exactly they do it, and what ramifications it has for them and Thanos. However, it remains to be seen. While it's largely believed that Thanos will no longer be a key figure in the MCU after Avengers Endgame, thanks to his strong ties with the, with the Eternals, not to mention his immense popularity, many are hoping this won't be the last time fans will see him in the franchise. So, if you guys don't know, Avengers 4: Avengers Endgame, you know, drops April 26th next next week, actually next Thursday, and then we have uh, Spider-Man: Far From Home dropping July now, July 2nd. 2019. I'll definitely be getting my tickets for that as well. This has been your boy Share Speaks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys let me sound off in the comments as well for what you guys liked about the video and what you guys can expect and what you got what your predictions will be for Endgame and so on. Peace and love.